I saw this quote doing the rounds on Twitter earlier, and I searched for the source video, but I couldn't find that. I could find many people referencing it, but not find the source. But I did find this, so make what you will as to whether she actually said that or not. And a quick apology for the grainy quality. It's an old clip and all they had. Well, hey, if you're good enough for the job, you get the job, don't you? That's, that's Take his advice. Don't apply. It'd be great if you lot just went away, white middle-class men. <laughs> We'd right. just walk in, wouldn't we? Right. Is that not a racist comment? Of course. <laughs> this kind of rhetoric is far worse than anything you hear from the supposed far right online or even the right or even anybody for that matter yet for some reason women like this seem to be able to get away with such comments yet the woman making these statements Yasmin Alibi Brown is far from the first to do it it's reminiscent of Susan Sontag the feminist American writer's famous statement that the white race is the cancer of human history now, you'd think that Sontag, being a Jewish woman, would be aware of the danger of using rhetoric like that for whole groups of people, but as usual, it seems it's one of these do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do type things. But how can such people get away with saying these things with impunity? Well, While Reform UK was recently labelled far-right by the BBC simply for wanting to limit immigration, Susan Sontag has got away scot-free with her comments with a Wikipedia page simply reading some of her speeches drew controversy. Well, it's because we are now under the thrall of the progressive stack, the ideology which has taken over all our academic institutions and our culture. So we're in a situation now where if you have any problem with any of this, you're just an enlightened and a bigot. Even me raising the point, raising awareness about this sort of rhetoric makes me some sort of bigot in their eyes. If you're struggling to figure out how this system works, I've got a handy diagram for you here. If a white person moves out, that's white flight, which is racism. If you move in, that's gentrification, which is also racism. If you see colour, that's racism. If you don't see colour, you're ignoring racism, which is racism. If you don't partake in the culture, that's not inclusive and you're racist. If you engage in a culture, that's cultural appropriation, which is also racist. It was when I realised that there's nothing you can do to ever appease these people, that it's a hopeless lost cause. All they want to do is treat you as the evil person eternally and there's no escape from that. Do let me know your thoughts below about this madness and if this video was of interest to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel.